Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about Emergency SOS. This is easily one of the best features built into your iPhone. Of course, it's just one of those features that you hope you never have to use, but if you do need it, you're happy that it is there on your iPhone. And now Apple has made some important changes and updates to Emergency SOS with iOS 16.3 that I wanted to share with you guys because I think are very, very important. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget get to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now on this iphone here the iphone 13 pro max i have ios 16.3 now as of the filming of this video the software is not out to the public just yet but it will be about a month and a half or two after the filming of this video of course stay tuned here to the channel once it is released i'll be filming a video on the software update but let me go ahead and talk about emergency sos on this iphone 12 pro max i have ios 16.2 so an older version of ios and let me show you some of the key differences and updates to the emergency SOS on the iPhone here. So let's go to emergency SOS right here. Now we have the standard options. We have the hold to make an emergency call. We have the click the five times on the side buttons to make a call. And we also have countdown sounds. Now what this will do is it will silence any alarm when you do that countdown to call emergency services. So if I long press the side button and any of the volume buttons together for long enough, I can initiate an emergency call. You see the countdown there, we get a loud sound if we have the sound enable just like so right so of course if you don't want that sound you can go ahead and turn this option off and you no longer have the sound so if i click here five times and initiate that call the sound should be silenced now and you won't be able to hear the siren before the emergency countdown ends just like so now there's a few ui changes on ios 16.3 and different options in ios 16.3 that have been actually renamed so for example if we go to ios 16.3 here and we go into the emergency sos the new sound option is now called quiet now what this sound option would now do is it would actually eliminate the flash from the emergency service alarm and the alarm itself as well. So if you don't want to be noticed when initiating an emergency call where there could be instances where you don't want to be noticed when initiating a call, call quietly will now of course turn off that alarm as well but also turn off the flash and any sound that may come from your iPhone. So now we also have the same options and there's a new UI as well. So if we long press the side and the volume button here here either one we initiate a call by pressing here you see the new ui here once the countdown starts we have a brand new ui emergency services takes over the entire screen here and of course if we continue pressing it will call emergency services you can also do it by sliding there on the slider and of course if we press five times on the side button it will also initiate the call so we now have the ability to actually turn off the flash and turn off the sound with one particular option with call quietly the one thing that you also want to note is that ios 16.3 has this option turned off by default so if you ever feel like you may be in a situation where you need to initiate an emergency call and you don't want to be noticed then once you update to iOS 16.3 I highly recommend you go into settings you scroll into emergency SOS and then enable call quietly and again this will disable any sound from your iPhone when initiating the emergency SOS call and the sound and flash will be eliminated because if you don't when you go ahead and leave that option off off, you see here that we get the sound obviously but not only do you get the sound you also get a flash which of course if you want to be discreet you won't be able to because of the sound and the flash so call quietly new ui takes over ios 16.3 emergency sos taking over the countdown sound option and adding and building upon emergency sos let me know what you think about these changes in ios 16.3 thank you for watching guys and i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you on the next one